I'm Heather Staines, the Director of Partnerships for Hypothesis. Um, I take care of relationships with our publishers, platform hosts, and other publishing-related entities that are considering integrations with us. When I heard there was a whole conference devoted to annotation, I was a little bit uh, shocked. Uh, but uh, attending, um, I've been very impressed with it over the course of a couple years. And I always like to tell people that the fact that you can annotate is really incidental. It's the technology behind it that really opens up a lot of new frontiers. So the ability to create um, you know, a unique persistent web address for items that are smaller than a page means incredible opportunities for people to, um, in teaching and learning and in collaboration together and in entity extraction, uh, that you know it's really the sky's the limit from now on. So I would ur urge people to get past their, their notion that uh, annotation is just one thing. Annotation is many, many things. Well, it's part of my job. Uh, but if it weren't part of my job, I'm really interested in how annotation can streamline workflow uh, for everyone, um, myself included. I use annotation all day, every day. And I love to hear other people's use cases. Um, so I consider even new ways to find, to use hypothesis. One of the things that I thought was an improvement over last year, just in my opinion, is the fact that the programming was mixed up. Um, we didn't have set times, you know, do all the publisher stuff in the morning and do the researcher stuff in the afternoon. And I think people benefit from hearing use cases of others. So I liked that. I liked the uh, different types and lengths of talks, uh, particularly the workshop. I, we had an hour. I wish we could have even had more. So maybe we should look into that for next year. Surprise! I did the publishing um, workshop. I think um, uh, Juan did an amazing job at talking about varying degrees of integration that you could do from the non-technical to the more technical. Um, he showed some great uh, uses and we had an opportunity to discuss with the attendees uh, questions they had about integrations and you know maybe next steps about where they could go from here. Well, I'm not a technical person, but um, I had a chance to sit down um, with a few folks uh, from PLOS, uh, from uh, the, the professor from the Basque uh, country, a um, uh, uh, fellow from BioHeritage Diversity Library, uh, uh, Kim Patch, and I showed them how I use annotation as part of my daily workflow, how I have annotated uh, participants lists and vacation information and that led to a lot of questions about searching and filtering and some of the things that we tried during that session were things that I had never thought to click on before. So it was informational for me and it's going to send me back to the team to, to, to dig a little bit deeper. But um, it was great to get uh, questions and feedback from them um, and to see them think about ways that they might use uh, hypothesis themselves. I think that um, anyone who came to iAnnotate would never question for a second the desire of people to use annotations as part of their workflow for a whole variety of, of reasons and purposes. So uh, whether it's something for public visibility, whether it's something for collaboration or even for private use, I think um, so many of the attendees with their enthusiasm and, and, and their interesting stories uh, would put that question to rest forever as to, you know, annotation, you know, is there a need for it? So that, that would be my key takeaway. Well, online annotation did not exist when I did my dissertation because online didn't exist. So I would do everything um, differently and I would no longer have to type into a word processor and sort and print and cut up little strips of paper and color code them with highlighters and paper clip them and have them all around. I mean, it was, uh, it was not my brain on a page, it was my brain in piles around the room. So uh, my life could have been so much easier if I had a tool like Hypothesis.